cabaret collection continues with every single Tato Cabaret finally in a row. I never got them all done. This is going to be in a later video where you just finish Space Invaders. And that is done. And I'm never going to get a chance to enjoy it in my game room. But Cabaret A Go Go continues. That's right. We are going to show you three wonderful games tonight. Tempest, number 26, Centipede, number 27, and Dig Dub, Dig Dug, not Dig Dub, Dig Dug, number 28. These are the only cabarets in this style cabinet that we know of. There was rumors, some other games were made. Let me turn the overhead lights on. But uh, we just never heard anything else. Now, Atari did have pretty good production runs of Tempest and Centipede. Dig Dug, not so many. Now, you've already seen gameplays of these, so everybody knows how they work, but what you haven't seen is the neatness and compactness of these cabinets. We have featured all three in other videos, but these three are the best ones I came across. As a matter of fact, there's a really neat history. Look at this thing. This is beautiful. Overlay is like new. The um, We put uh, silver tea molding, chrome tea molding on this. We have green tea molding on centipede. And I kept Tempest the way it was, and here's why. This was purchased from a home in Las Vegas years ago. I saw it on eBay. I think it was $1,200. I bought it on eBay for $1,200, and it cost me $450 or $500 to ship it. The reason I bought it is that the, he bought it brand new. Hmm. And boy, is it nice on the inside. Here, let's start with the Tempest. And look at the inside. Um, he didn't have the manual, so I had to actually uh, throw a manual in the back here. But look how nice and clean everything is. Okay? Uh, we did upgrade the monitor. Get that. What? I could have. I didn't do the zap. Should I do the zap thing? No, I'm not doing a zap thing today. Kurt and I have been working on these things all, all the time. We did upgrade the chassis, though. We have new caps, and we have that wonderful um, circuit board in there. The low-voltage uh, circuit board that is made. Oh, gosh. There's the website. Uh, we've, ever, ever since we put them in there, our breakdowns on these monitors has dropped to almost nothing. New capacitors, as you can see, all shiny new capacitors on the board. Even though it was brand new, we still put them in from Bob Roberts. New black cap on the bottom. Logic board's been serviced. It's the only thing that's not original in the game. But there's a switch right here. This particular board, oops, it's a really neat one. I just um, I just hit the one-off switch. We didn't cut the interlock out because that was original. When you flip that little switch, it gives you different mazes and formats. I don't know who I bought that from. We should try it, Kurt. Mm -hmm. Can I shut it off now? Okay, that's normal. So, let's just see. So. Okay, that's normal. Right? Now, let's flip that switch. Let's turn it off and on. Mm. And look. Bow tie. Fancy. Hmm, let's see what three is. <laughs> I like it. Neat. I think we'll zap it. Oh, I was hoping that was going to get rid of all of them. Playing it sideways is a little difficult, Curdy, for me. Oh, you stopped there. Look. It broke away part of it, so you can't go. I see what they've done. Yeah, you can't go all the way around, and this is only the third level. This creeps. You know what'll get rid of that? Super down right now. Yeah, I don't know what this one does. They have to be climbing. They want to be climbing by the for the super zapper to put you in the survival climbing. Yet. That wiped everything away. That's neat, isn't it? Well, this one I can go all over. Anyway, he'll have fun with that. I'm going to leave it set up in that. Really nice. I don't remember where I got it from. <laughs> Is there anything on the chip? 
Oh, there was some kind of writing on it. I, I don't know where it came from. It. Isn't that awful? I mean, when I was doing these things and I would order them and put them in the games. And That's why I left the black tea bottle up. That's why I didn't take the interlock out. Because it was new. Oh, what's the serial number on that? Oh, you know what's on the front? Atari put them on the front of the games. And this one, one right here. Oh. Zero, one, one, one. Oh, okay. One, two, two, two. Thanks for pushing me out of the way. I'm sorry. 1422, maybe. Or 422. I wonder. Hmm. Well, let's look at center, centipede. Um, 4213. Well, maybe somebody can take that information. We have a Geo 7 in there, new flyback, all new caps, just like we usually do the Bob Roberts kit on the whole board, okay, and the Bob Roberts cap at the bottom. And we did take the board out, the logic board, and clean all the chips. And there's a book inside. Isn't that nice, Kurt? Mm -hmm. Let's move on to number three. Number three. Another Geo 7 with all new parts. And another. Uh, look, it's not as much this board uh, and Dig Duck. Which, which one's this? Is this Dig Duck? Dig Duck. This is Dig Duck. Did I get them backwards here? Anyway, so Dig Duck doesn't use all that. And look, a bonus for for Mike. A working Dig Duck logic board. I managed to scrape up and put inside. And of course, the uh, the clean. Oh, you know what? I forgot to tell you. The game, they don't have fluorescent fixtures in them. Now, whose idea was that? So, we actually put these fluorescent fixtures in. Did I do it on this? Yeah, we did it on this. Yeah. Um, that's odd, isn't it, Kurt? They're not usually lit up. No? Hmm. I don't know why. That's odd. I always don't say odd, we're lit up. Like me. Hmm. Well, we know you're odd. Uh, huh? And fat. And fat? And you know, Dig Dug did not have a free. Oh no, it does. Uh, we left it off for a reason. I don't remember what it was. Burning, maybe. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know. I don't know why we left it off. Free anyway. play has it. I don't think it has a. I don't think it has a free play. Dig Dug. I'm not positive. Anyway, nobody wants to see you. Now, you've also seen our Ireland version. There is an Ireland Dig Dug. We have a video on that. There it is, right there. Uh, there is a millipede Ireland, not a centipede, but a millipede, and you'll see that because Mark from Canada ordered that. Canada. Canada. Just, no, there isn't a millipede Ireland tempest that I know. We got a lot of videos now. You have a lot of work cut out for you. By the way, when I put those links in, I understand they don't um, light up if you're using a cell phone. You have to be on a, a I guess a a home base computer for the hyperlinks to go to all these different things. Is that called lighting up? Or it they light up when you put your cursor. Her, it's too light late. Up. I'm dripping. I'm hot. Oh. You and your stupid cat. You want to sell all my games? Creep. This is for your daughters. So they can go to college. College. College fun. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to continue the video. Okay with a few more rarities. I'm going to push these away and then instantly we're going to be back. Just like this. Watch. <coughs> Poof. Which hand was I clicking? <laughs> I don't remember now. Um, Who's in charge of continuity? That was coming. Frank. I, I got to remember which one's which. You know, Kurt, I can't keep remembering. Okay. Bosconians, number 29. Okay. We have a video we did already on gameplay right here. So you can look at our video at a later date. When you click on them, by the way, they open in another window and then you can just freeze it and watch it later. Shows you all the gameplay on this really extraordinary game. Wizard of War. Uh, I don't know if we did a video in the mini, but here's a Wizard of War video that you can watch. And that is officially 30 number 30. Isn't that a nice little fella? And I love the fact that it has side art right here in the front. This has just these uh, columns. By the way, these are original overlays, but they were damaged, of course, usually where they, they, they so we painted them in black, but you can't get them anywhere. Nobody's ever going to make them. 
and of course the Solar Fox is 31. We do have a video on this. It actually shows a rare cocktail too. Um, and of course the full sizes we've had too. Full sizes are quite nice, aren't they? You can get them all three ways. Cocktail, full size, and cabaret. Wood grain cabinets, no side art on them. That's the way they were. Were. Let's go in on the back side here, Kurt. Ooh. Look, 232. Very few made, Kurt. Look, see we have um, something mini. Where's your light? Where is my light? Here is my light. Stay Just wanted to show the light. There you go. Here we go. S Fox Mini. I do show that in the video. And of course we have put our new power supply system in there. The customer will never have a problem. And if he does, he can change it out very easily. And the logic board and amp, stereo amp, because this has terrific stereo sound. Monitor's been rebuilt. Very nice indeed. What is the serial number here? 60. Oh, they made a lot of them. 61? Oh, no, no. 616. Six, 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 oh, what? Um. <laughs> it was with WW. So they did make a lot of these. I was wrong. Oh, look, it's got a similar board to Space App. I pointed out before, some of the caged games seem to have the Space App had this uh, black and white converter that uh, somehow the cage on the top communicates to that. Of course, we did change this baby right here. And of course, the monitor's rebuilt. And there's our beautiful little stereo amplifier. And my daughters just love playing this with their friends. Such a great game. And we end with, do we have a serial number? Up right here, 105. Uh oh, not many made, but we have a bonus for our friend. Inside is a spare Bosconian board that actually works. Uh, Bosconian boards were just like Galagas, I think. So I did get get one ramped up to make sure it works. What was that game called? Galagas. 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 <laughs> We got red on these too, Curdy, don't we? Sleepy. Oh, that's a lot of stuff for this one video. How about, Kurt, if I show you some stuff on the other side before we go back to the shop? Come over, over here. Uh, I put the theater in here, but the girls ended up using the stage a lot. And they kind of moved everything out of the way is they've actually been rehearsing here for High School Musical. So they come here and rehearse and do all kinds of things. And we have computer controlled stage lights, of course. These are theater sconces that bake, date back to the 20s that we had rewired. Uh, they did, came from different parts of the company. They were actually country, or actually the world. Now that one came from Australia, that one there. Um, I have the theater names written down. This is really nice with these pretty tubes here. Look at that. That sort of reminds me of a drive-in theater or something. This sconce was from the Prince Theater in Pittsburgh, I believe. And it would have a bowl on the top. The, I didn't get a bowl with it, a big globe, and I didn't get a chance to do anything with it. But I want to show you my ceiling. If you look up top, Kurt. Look at this one here. Yep. Mm -hmm. Let me turn off. There we go. We have, I had this star ceiling commissioned by the same people that do star ceilings for museums. This costs, I think, about five grand. One 25 watt bulb lights it, okay? Do you see how they're flickering? We also have a shooting star, okay? It's supposed to similar, and it looks similar. Oh, let me turn this other light off here. Comment. Yeah, let me turn the comment. There's also, uh, here we go. Turn the projection booth off. There we go. This way. Isn't that nice? Now the girls will uh, sleep down here oh. in the uh, uh, summer and winter. They have sleepovers. And they leave this beautiful starry ceiling on. And of course, it's uh, the projector is up in the roof. Um, so the comet come and goes. There's our comet, yep. Yeah. And uh, we had the company, they came out and installed the panels. 
for us. So it was just so nice. Very nice. And uh, really artsy fartsy when you run movies and things. We're kind of disheveled right now. Focus. Listen, remember my deal. If you come to Tammy's show. Is that Mel Blanc's signature? Yes, that is. What? Uh, I sold Mel Blanc cartoons. Um, back 16 millimeter cartoons. Nice. I have his check. I, I, zero, I copied, photocopied one of the checks. <laughs> back then, you know, we didn't really, we were impressed and we thought it was the greatest thing on earth, but I didn't take enough pictures. I have one Polaroid with me next to him. And I have one photocopy of a check, another one he did in 78, he signed for me. Um, so, kind of neat. I think I have, oh yeah, we, uh, The Wicked Witch of the West. I asked her to sign it, Maggie. She signed that. A friend of mine went and saw her in New York. And, um, These are all cells? Nice. Yeah, cartoon cells. Nice. They're all, well, some of them I had made for me. I commissioned them. But some of them are quite rare. Awesome. That I had commissioned. That that's a favorite scene. That is not a, an original. But I asked him to do it in the style of an original, and uh, Drew Fash did that for me. But this is Doctor Elephant uh, color uh, Astro uh, Astro Boy episode. That's a real Bugs Bunny from. I have it. I have some of these have certificates. We stick on the back. Uh, Mel Blanc signed a whole bunch of these for me. Uh, these were a remake of Flintstones, I guess, in the 70s. Just you know. the, the Barney's voice, right? Yes, Barney Rebel. And this is uh, from a TV series from 20th Century Fox back in the 70s, Journey to the Center of the Earth. <coughs> <coughs> That's kind of loud there, my stupid air conditioner. I see there was an organ over there. Do you play that naked? Like a... Is that Monty Python? <laughs> God, awful. We need to go back to the shop. It's time to go. Ah. All right, the plug for this plugs back in the head. I don't know if you've ever seen these before. No. Nope. So the plug right here, over here, plug right in the back. And on and off, instead of how all the other ones are, it's a hidden underneath here. Okay. So it's a little pocket. It's the sh it's Schiff, right? Skiff. It's Skiff. Okay, I wrote that essay. Okay, I like correct that. Uh, the Skiff family from Virginia drove up to get a pinball, and they've chosen the Ghostbusters. And we didn't even get it in. We didn't even get a price on it yet. Uh, I, I I made it two hundred higher. <laughs> uh, they decided it was your favorite game, right? Definitely. Mm -hmm. Definitely your favorite. Yes. And this is the new edition. This one was just made, I think. Uh, here we are. July 11th. That's the production date. So, it is the new stock. So they got all the bugs out of it. I understand they had to change something with this fella here. So, uh, it is a beauty. So we're going to get this game out before the next party. I wonder if there's a bunch of people waiting to get in. Yep, people are waiting to come in for the next party. I dropped the check. I have to get the check to pay for it. No, we gave him a good deal. List price. Uh. Well, they're ready to go. You're all loaded up. What's my traditional line? Somebody got very upset when I didn't say it the other day. I'm supposed to end the video by saying, now, get out! Oh, <laughs> oh my. They're going to have a lot of fun with it. Thanks a lot. All right, thanks a lot. And we'll see. He's getting his Black Knight overhaul. So you'll be back in September. A year from now. Yeah, <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, so he, he left what he took, brought one to us. He's taking one home. Maybe when you come back, he'll take two more. Home. <laughs> yeah. Why not? We know we can fit them. <laughs> thanks a lot, guys. All right. Good night. Good night. Now, get lost! We're in the Yellow Pages under amusement.